Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video, we will introduce you to the Shadow Catcher feature in Maverick. Shadow Catcher is a type of material you can use to integrate your 3D model directly into a photo, or over an HDRI background. It works by catching the shadows that your light setup would normally produce on geometry, and using those to modulate the background image visually anchoring the model and helping you achieve a believable integration. To see how this all works, we will use our automotive scene as an example. This scene comes pre-configured with a shadow catcher. To get to the shadow catcher attributes, we can select the floor plane and reveal its material, which is responsible for capturing the shadows produced by our HDRI environment. Let's delete the floor and see how we can create our own. In the objects library, we have a category names floors. These are pre-made planes with different shadow catcher configurations. All you have to do is drag and drop one of these on your scene. This simple step will do the job for you. If for some reason you want to create your own shadow catcher from scratch, the process is as follows. We can drop a plane from the primitives category in the objects library. Objects dropped from the library may need to be rescaled, depending on the dimensions of your scene. To this end, you can enable the Transform tool and select Scale. Once the plane is reasonably sized, we will create a shadow catcher material and apply the material to the plane. We recommend however to use our pre-made library floors as it is a quicker method. Be aware that the library ambiences in the categories exterior and interior come with a shadow catcher as well. We can verify by dropping one and see how shadows are captured on the floor plane automatically. Once you have a shadow catcher you can try different IBL environments from the library. They will cast light differently, but the shadow catcher will automatically adapt. Let's explore now the settings in the shadow catcher material. The weight slider allows you to dim or strengthen the shadowing factor. We may also enable reflections on the floor, which may be needed if your floor is meant to be wet or shiny. We can control the roughness of the reflection and the reflection fresnel with the roughness and IOR attributes. We also have an option to add an extra ambient occlusion component. As you can see, our shadow catcher material node is very powerful, yet easy to configure. Let's see now how we can change the backplate photography behind our car. In the library you can find some on-location photographs you can play with. All you have to do is simply drag and drop on the scene. Maverick will automatically replace the backplate with the selected image. If we click on the render background, Maverick will take you to the IBL node where you can configure the backplate yourself. Let's select the screen mapping fit projection mode, so our backplate is laid out correctly on the scene. Note that in this case both the backplate and the render are full HD. The power attribute allows you to control the intensity of the backplate. The rest of options are basically self-explanatory. Now let's see how you can use your own backplates. We will use examples we downloaded from the website HDRI Haven. Let's work a bit on this first photo, paying attention to the resolution of both the image and the render. Let's drop the image on the background of the scene. Maverick will set it as a backplate automatically. As explained, it is important to make the render resolution match, or be proportional to the resolution of the image, to avoid stretching. Once we have done so may want to dock our render to our work area with the fit to view option. Now let's adjust the camera position to better match the perspective of the photograph. Let's also disable reflections in our shadow catcher, as they do not make sense for this particular example. And let's enable the sun to better match the lighting conditions of the photo. Just by enabling the sun our shadow catcher will project the expected shadow on the backplate. Let's rotate the azimuth and altitude angles of the sun so it matches the lighting direction of the photo. Now let's select the shadow catcher material, 
and adjust the shadow's weight a bit. As you can see this leads to a more believable integration. Now let's work on a different example. Again, let's pay attention to the resolution of the photograph. We drop the image on the background. We turn the sun off as we won't need it this time. Let's adjust the camera a bit. And let's set the resolution to match, or be proportional to the resolution of the photograph. Like before, let's select fit to view once we're done. The backplate will stay anchored to the margins of the render. The next example is the very typical case where a flat color is used as a backplate, so the product pops out real good. Let's unplug the backplate map, which will reveal the underlying backplate color. Now the backplate is a solid color. Let's pick a shade of blue, where shadows will look very good. Let's set the resolution and select fit to view. This is a very typical case in product marketing imagery. You can also drop pre-made gradients from the backplate category in the library. They often look great. To wrap this video up. We will see how to add light objects to our scene and take a look at the affect shadow catcher attribute. Let's create a spotlight object and see how it casts a shadow on our solid backplate. Now let's select the light object and go to the compositing rollup. There we will find a new option labeled effect shadow catcher. With this option on, the light illuminates the shadow catcher. With this option off, the shadow catcher stays completely unaffected, but the light still casts a shadow in the floor. Let's add a light to the left, and see what happens when we toggle the affect shadow catcher option. Depending on the case you're working on, you may choose one option or the other. Let's drop an interior IBL and see again what happens by toggling the Affect Shadow Catcher option. You can freely experiment depending on your needs. These are the basic concepts behind Maverick's take on shadow catching for photo integration. We hope that you will find this video helpful and hope to see your images making use of these features. That's all for this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.